All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to bring you a update on Cardano ADA. There's so many things uh, going on with the market right now, guys. ADA has been absolutely exploding. We've been absolutely killing it. We were making videos saying right here that ADA had a good chance of hitting 60 cents. And what happened? We just hit 60 cents. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Even here, uh, once we were entering like the sideways consolidation phase, uh, we were letting our, our people know. You can check our Discord link for that will be down in the description below. Uh, and, and I made a video just yesterday talking about key resistance levels right here. How like the, the 55 cent was key resistance. As soon as we broke that, we're seeing 60 cents. And I guess I was wrong because we hit 62 cents. So, guys, stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to run through some uh, brief TA here. Kind of talk about what is happening uh, with Cardano, uh, both short-term and long-term. And even kind of some off-chart things that you guys uh, kind of need to be aware of. So, let's begin. Since we've been pumping a lot, let's, let's begin by getting a sense of our uh, of our indicators here. Let's see if we're kind of overbought, how things look, that kind of thing. So, let's begin by looking at the daily here. So daily looks bullish. Everything's on the up and up. Uh, MACD, Wade MACD, Stochastic, RSI is on the up and up. So daily looks bullish, which makes sense. We've been breaking out of uh, key resistance levels and we're just exploding. Uh, so everything looks bullish here, except uh, we're starting to notice something, which is we're we're in the uh, overbought territory with our RSI and even on the Stochastic on the 12 hour here. Looks like the Stochastic might want to have a bearish crossover soon so you know that's when when we're pumping and whenever one real overbought territory territory just be aware that you know we could could potentially have a pullback although everything still looks strong on the 12 and the daily let's take a look at the six uh six hour looks strong as well guys we're still making higher highs we'll start we'll, we're still making higher lows even the six hour looks like i might want to even have a, a, a bullish crossover whenever we want whenever we're supposed to have <clears throat> a leg down like the stochastic rsi is great because it's great for understanding like kind of, kind of the shifts in trends uh the stochastic typically loves to go up and down up and down overbought to oversold overbought to oversold whenever we're going down like whenever we're overbought and it looks like we're trying to have that uh that next leg down to the oversold and we don't and we have a bullish crosser midway through that's telling you that prices want to go down so look th this is super interesting so right here this lines up with this peak here and then this bullish crossover lines up with this price action here right after we exploded. So I love looking at the stochastic, especially when we're near breakouts. It's great for understanding like kind of the shifts and trends, especially on the higher time frames. Um, so it looks like we might have uh, a bullish crossover. Let's take a look at the four. Four, yeah. See, we have the bullish crossover. RSI is still making higher highs, so it still looks bullish, guys. Uh, one hour, even the one hour looks looks bullish. I don't think we're done making a peak yet although it, that we could experience uh, a lower high but still everything macd bullish crosser everything looks super bullish basically the only kind of weakness i'm seeing is that we are kind of overbought we're in the overbought territory with our rsi and all these different time frames so that is concerning we, we could definitely have a leg down you know buying into cardano now after it pumped and broke above key resistance i mean it, it, whenever you buy like at the peak of an impulse that's that always brings a greater degree of risk um, and we, we are overbought, but aside from being overbought, everything looks strong. We, we, you know, we're still making macro higher highs and all that good stuff. So Cardano still looks bullish, except, except just understand that we're overbought. We're kind of overextended, could have a pullback. So let's take a look here at the chart to try to understand, uh, where we could have a pullback. So we met my price target both here and here and here at the breakout point of 60 cents. And we've actually broken above 60 cents. So kind of what's happening next? Well, I've done kind of a Fibonacci extension here uh, based off what I believe to be kind of a sensible macro impulse and then the retracement. So you basically take the bottom of the movement to the top of the impulse and then the bottom of the retracement. And then that gives you uh, some Fib levels that are going to be uh, kind of price reactive here. So, um, you know, we, we broke out of, out of the key resistance level and psychological resistance and Fib resistance level of 60 cents. So what's happening now? Well, let's kind of zoom out. And look back, uh, 2018, to kind of look at some key, key support and resistance levels. I've highlighted some areas that I think are kind of price reactive, uh, and that we could have at the very least find temporary resistance. So, kind of 65 cents is going to be very price reactive for Cardano. As we can see here, it was acting as resistance here, acting as support. These areas acting as support, and here and here as resistance. So this is clearly a price reactive area. I think, given that we've blown past 60 cents, I think it's a matter of time before we test 65. Although again, we're quite overextend, quite overbought. We could have a pullback at any time. Although we may not. The price action in and of itself, and the macro trend in and of itself, uh, looks bullish. It looks very bullish, even still. Uh, let's see if we can actually take a look here at the six hour, because I think we'll get a better sense 
of our uh, of the peaks that are, I think are relevant here. So yeah, if we see kind of the six hour, we can kind of see how the the six five here. Look, look how look how much, how often it was price reactive. Six five six five, you know six five six five six five six five. It's a very price reactive zone here. So I think that's gonna act as resistance as well. Kind of seven three. 73 cents and 79 to 80 cents will act as resistance again pr very price reactive uh, zones here so why is this important because okay if we go back to what's happening right now there has to be a better way to do this uh, if, if we go back to what's happening right now we've broken above like key psychological resistance and one of our fib levels so uh, I'd wager based off of like, a Fibonacci extension that we could go up to, to 80 cents and I do think that's possible. I think if if Cardano can hold above 60 cents, just to kind of summarize, you know, making things easier on you guys uh, uh, a bit here. If Cardano can hold above 60 cents, I think we have a good chance of tackling 80 cents. Although it's definitely not going to be a straight ride, folks. It, like looking back at 2018, there's a bunch of support and resistance all throughout these levels here. I think these are kind of like some some key levels because we're so bullish we could like, you know, we're, we're likely to shoot past some resistance levels. But these, I think, are kind of like some of the key resistance levels that, that I think we need to look out for. So we could find resistance and, and have a, a pullback or some kind of consolidation at any one of these resistance points, really at any point here, folks. But I do think if Cardano could hold 60 cents, I think we're testing 80 cents. I think that's just a matter of time, but just be aware we could find rejection off any one of these points and go uh, for some, cons uh, you know, a bit of sideways consolidation or even have a pullback. That Just be aware that's very uh, possible. Now, something that we need to be aware of, uh, specifically with Cardano, is the fact that... Um, the developers are trying to release uh, Gogan, which is um, their mainnet, soon, like somewhat soon. There's there's rumors, at least from what I'm hearing, that they're planning to release it quarter one this year, sometime around March, maybe. So, you know, we have maybe maybe a few months before Cardano re releases their uh, their mainnet. Uh, that is going to be a very very bullish catalyst for Cardano. So just be aware if you're you know kind of looking to swing trade this or uh, if this is long term bag hold for you. There is a very very bullish uh, catalyst for Cardano quickly approaching. So that's just something that we should uh, that should be on all our minds here. And I can imagine uh, there's likely to be an anticipatory run up leading up to their mainnet launch uh, because that that's just a, such a bullish catalyst for Cardano. So um, just be aware as well. It's always helpful to take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Because Bitcoin dominance is kind of a good chart to look at to try and gauge what the altcoins are capable of doing, whether they got more gas in their tank or whether the dampers are, are going to be placed on them because Bitcoin dominance is the total value of Bitcoin in comparison to, of all cryptocurrency. And it's a good chart because it gives you an understanding of, oh, okay, is money flowing into Bitcoin or is money flowing into the altcoins? Whenever Bitcoin dominance falls, altcoins typically benefit. Whenever it rises, altcoins typically suffer. So understanding kind of like the movements, like the impulses and retracements of bitcoin dominance is a good gauge for kind of what the altcoins have in them uh so yeah it's always a, uh, a good chart to keep our, uh, our eye out for it seems to be getting uh rejected of kind of like the 63 percent area and if we go for that further leg down that's going to be you know that's going to be more gas in the in the tank for these uh for these altcoins like cardano to pump if we keep falling with with Bitcoin dominance, that should tell you, hey, alts are, alts are still going to do well. As soon as we start see Bitcoin dominance start to rally, that should tell you, hey, the, the, the dampers are being placed on the altcoins, right? So it's a good chart to keep our eye out for, as well, uh, the dollar index, the DXY. Whenever the dollar pumps, other currencies typically uh, suffer. Whenever it, it falls, other currencies typically benefit, including crypto. So these are just a few important things to keep an eye out for. In terms of the long-term price predictions, like near the like the peak of this bull run, um, I don't know for sure when this bull run is going to end, and I don't know for sure how high Cardano is going to go. But I do think it's probable that this bull run ends uh, sometime in September, October for Bitcoin, and Cardano and the altcoin is likely to peak out roughly a month after Bitcoin. Uh, and by then, I think Cardano has a good chance to be in the mid-dollar range. I, I think five to eight dollars is, is somewhat reasonable. Uh, it's kind of like a reasonable long-term price prediction for Cardano. Again, guys, t take these price predictions for fun because nobody knows for sure. People can extrapolate based off market caps. Okay, if Bitcoin was here, what could the altcoins do? And, and based off previous cycles. But ultimately, I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to say it's just a fun guesstimation. Take it that way because I could be wrong. But hey, I, I think I'm probable... I think there's a probable chance that I'm right. I think I think it's very reasonable to assume that Cardano could be uh, could hit five to eight dollars at the peak of this bull uh, Is that a guarantee? Absolutely not. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. Uh, but you know those things are probable. So I just want to let you guys know for those who are kind of you know looking to to hear other people's thoughts. I mean, of course, that's why you're watching this video. So guys, yeah, just to kind of summarize a bit here, if we can hold above sixty cents. 
Um, I think we have a good chance of tackling 80 cents here based off our fib, fib uh, levels, we're, but we're, it's going to be chop. Like, it's not going to be uh, pretty, I don't think. Like, there's a bunch of, like, resistance, bunch of sideways price action from back in 2018 all throughout these regions. So expect, given that we're overextended, that we could have a pullback at any point here. Uh, I would personally uh, look to... Uh, wait for a pullback. If I were looking to accumulate Cardano, I could expect some kind of pullback or some kind of rejection of any one of these levels here. So just be aware. Uh, as well, if anything interesting further happens with Cardano, uh, we'll definitely be talking about it in our Discord group. Link to that will be down in the description and on this channel as well. Uh, check out Bybit, guys. If you want to trade these markets, it's my favorite exchange to trade on. Uh, be very careful with leverage trading. It is extremely risky. Uh, new people should not touch leverage at all. I don't even think new people should be trading at all. But new people should not be trading. The vast majority of like studied, experienced traders lose anyways. New people should not be trading at all. New people, if you want to learn to trade, should dedicate all your time to learn learning technical analysis and not actually trading but if you're an experienced person you know what's up and you want a, a, a easy to use uh, ex exchange i highly recommend bybit link for that will be down in the description below and tokenmetrics guys tokenmetrics is an ai fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform that i use to help inform my thought process and some of my research um they have they offer a paid trial it's like 10 bucks for a week link for that will be down in the description below and you know we recommend it here we like it so um yeah guys that's it for now thanks for watching and take care